Getting your family photos organized is not just a simple happy trip down memory lane. Oh no, you need to know the dreadful truth about organizing and saving your family photos. Hi, I'm Molly Bartelt. I own Pixology where we've organized millions of photos. We aim to inspire and motivate people to save their pictures. If you need help in this area, hit the bell and the subscribe button so you're notified when we upload new videos. Before we dive into the dreadful truth about saving your photos, I want to remind you, stay till the end because I've got hope and a tool to help you get this job of saving your family pictures done once and for all. Organizing photos is not easy and it takes a lot of time. When old family photos have been accumulating over many decades and the digital pictures have been piling up for years, it's hard to get everything to one place. You've got photos in old sticky albums, mismatched albums, fancy scrapbooks, mixed in old drawers, boxes, and bins. We've seen pictures stacked in golf club storage cases, old styrofoam coolers, plastic bags from the 1960s. Then you've got photos on old phones, camera cards, old computers, like really old computers. There's USB drives and online places like Dropbox, Google, and Microsoft OneDrive. The hours blend into days and the days into weeks and all of a sudden you're wondering, how am I spending so much time on this and I feel like I have so little progress? Listen here to Allison. Boy, this thing, this picture stuff, it's no joke. It no. takes a long time. Here we are. Because it takes so long, you end up starting and stopping and starting and stopping. And at some point you think, I gotta start over because I don't remember what I was doing this the last time I was working on it, which was like three years ago. It's a vicious cycle. And you wonder, should I have thrown those other pictures away? I've wondered that too. In fact, I have had to go to the dumpster and pull out some of my grandma's old World War II memorabilia because I just wasn't sure if I should let it go. And I'm sorry to be the bearer of this news, but your family may not be much help and they may not even care when you're done to look at your work. Just remember, you are doing this for you first, okay? And then happily surprise these people in your family at a reunion sometime when you pull out pictures and show what we all looked like 20 years ago. That's the fun time. We've been using digital cameras and smartphones for going on 20 years now. Some of your photos are just going to be MIA, missing in action. Sometimes you know what happened to them and sometimes you don't. I can remember it well. Back in 2013, we were at a fundraiser where there was a big dance and my kids were having a great time. My son, who was six, he was doing these dance moves that were so funny. The video that I got was great. And then my phone was stolen a week later. And of course, I wasn't backing up back then. And that memory is sort of edging towards the black hole of lost moments in my mind. Fortunately, I have these few photos to remind me of what fun we had that day. Then, I'd say about five years ago is when I got my digital photos in order and I realized I was missing October through December of 2005. There were no photos. My daughter was like four. And I'm pretty sure I had pictures between October and December of that year, but who knows, they're gone. There's no recovering those, I don't think. And speaking of unrecoverable photos, if you have corrupted files, like I'm showing you here, there's no hope for these. There is no way to bring them back. The only chance that you have is to find another digital copy of the pictures that haven't been corrupted. And then there's crashed computers, hard drives, and external hard drives, and worse. You can have all the best backups in the world, but if you don't monitor them and make sure your memories are safe, time will pounce on them and your drives could die. I found this out the hard way. I had switched back and forth from a Mac to a PC a few times, you know, between 2010 and 2018. In the transfer process, at one point, the videos did not come over with my photo collection. 
and I didn't realize it for about four years. In the meantime, my three backups all eventually had died and I didn't know it. This was really devastating. Like how could I, a photo organizer, a photo estate planner, lose my kids' videos? Well, there was hope. One of the backups was a complicated device here at Pixology and I, I knew it had died because we had replaced it. All our client work was fine. I sent it off to a data recovery specialist, and if you need one, I've got a link to Gilware down below. But I sent it off to them, and they were able to recover, but guess how much it cost? $2,400. I found out what priceless really means when we think about our memories. How much would you pay to recover videos like these? Put it in the comments below, I'd love to know. Letting go is hard and you've got to get over that. You've got to get into the mindset because you want to get through this project and finish it. You're going to empty out the boxes, bags, and bins of photos. There's going to be easy stuff to throw away right off the bat. And then looking at duplicates and repetitive pictures, throw those away or recycle them. Don't put them aside to give them to family because inevitably you never do. And then later on, you'll wonder, were you supposed to organize those too? And then your albums. Albums need to probably be let go as well for the most part. They're old, sticky, yucky. They're not great for your pictures. And you most likely don't need to save every photo that's in the album anyway. And if you have scrapbooks like me, I spent eight years of my life scrapbooking. It meant the world to me to save my memories that way. Well, flash forward 10 years and they're just cluttering up my house. I actually scanned all of the pages and I have the digital files and I threw the pages away and donated the albums to someone else. Lastly, if you have USB drives, camera cards or DVDs and discs of pictures or videos, get the pictures and videos off of those and saved on your computer and throw them away. Technology is out to get us. And I even feel like me personally, every time I learn something, I have to learn two more things just to keep up. It never stops and sometimes I just wanna cry. There are too many solutions out there for our pictures and too many things that happen automatically. Our phones are just sucking our pictures up and sending them wherever we may or may not know that we've told the phone to do. And they do it automatically. Apple introduced a new digital photo format, the hike file, back in 2017. Nobody really knew about it unless you happen to look on your file explorer on your computer. We kind of became more aware of it about two years later. How can a company do that? Just introduce a new format? JPEGs. I thought JPEGs were going to be with us for the long haul, and now I'm not so sure. And tech support is just awful. Try calling Google or Microsoft or Apple to get an answer, and you're going to be frustrated and demoralized. I spent four hours on the phone with Apple over a problem that took me five phone calls. I got five different answers on how to deal with the problem and it never got solved. Well, let's talk about duplicate photos. We all get that the print pictures, there's duplicates and you can throw those away when you identify them, pretty easy. And then when you scan them, you can run a duplicate finding program on it and weed out some more of the duplicates because you never catch them all. On the digital side, you have duplicates because you've been backing them up in multiple locations and occasionally your duplicate finding program will capture all those duplicates and allow you to delete them easily. If your photos are drastically different in size or name, they might not be caught by that program. Then, imagine this, you've got your scanned pictures and your digital pictures. Well, there was a period of time between 2005 and 2015 where we went to Walgreens with our camera card, got our pictures back printed and on a CD, and maybe we copied the pictures from our ca camera card to our computer. Finding how, how to sort through all of that is a nightmare. It takes time and patience, and sometimes you just have to remember you're not gonna make it all organized perfectly. 
Technology keeps evolving and evolving. It is literally impossible to keep up. I know, I try. <laughs> now you know the dreadful truth about organizing your photos. It's not easy, it takes a lot of time. Technology is against us and we are probably gonna have lost memories along the way. So what are you to do? You need a plan and I'm so excited that we can share our system for organizing both print and digital pictures. Here's our roadmap and you can click the link below to go sign up to download your own copy of it. It is chock full of all our tips and tricks on saving pictures. If you want to see our system in action, watch our playlist on creating a photo estate. That is our core service here at Pixology, where we help people save their family photo collections to enjoy today and to pass on to future generations. That is it for now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you the next time.